A Metro High School teacher in the hot seat over a private Instagram post from five years ago. His teaching license now in limbo, but attorneys say State Superintendent Ryan Walters and the State Board of Education may be going down a legal slippery slope. News Force Dylan Brown joins us in studio with details. Dylan, what's going on here? Yeah, Jolene Kevin, his name is Reagan Kalanke. This is the post right here behind me in question. He says it was harmless. Here's the thing. While Kalanke could lose his career, of which he's had for over 20 years, in contrast, another teacher facing criminal charges for almost two years, his certification expired before the State Board of Education even decided to suspend his license. Former Ringling coach Philip Coons accused of making his players practice naked, verbally abusing them, his teaching certificate suspended by the State Board of Education in August, two months after it had already expired. Revoke Allison Scott's Reagan Kalaki. Superintendent Ryan Walters targeting another teacher certification, though, Edmund North's Reagan Kalaki, in what some are calling political theater. I had students messaging me. One of them said, he was my favorite teacher. First reported by Oklahoma Watch. It stems from a 2019 Instagram post. The teacher, his kids, clowning around in a way that could be offensive to a Trump supporter, but only available to those who follow Kalaki's Instagram. His account, private. The post was sent to OSDE from an anonymous tipster in New York saying, I am a tax pay and will not condone this type of indoctrination of our youth. Please look into this matter. So Kalaki made the post in 2019, but he didn't know his license was even being talked about being revoked until July 31st this year when his name was on the agenda for the Board of Education. Well, number one, um, I was absolutely shocked. More than that, Kalaki didn't even have time to respond. And that was the, you know, what really started us down this path is we know that there is due process. It doesn't look uh, threatening or menacing. Uh, it looks like it's uh, it's a joke of some kind of family joke. Attorney Tommy Adler says Kalaki has the legal high ground. This is elementary level constitutional law. It has nothing to do with my ability as a teacher to deliver effective education, effective instruction in the state of Oklahoma. I went to OSDE to try and get a copy of his revocation application. We're told it's an open record. It's at the top. It's pending legal review right now. Now, Adler ended up telling me that uh, this is just going to cost the taxpayers more money in court fees if Kalecki does end up getting decertified. I asked OSDE for a response and total of this did not hear back yet.